대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dad, today was the big day, but Angela was elected class president. No wonder you look so sad. I tried my best, but I'm so disappointed with the result. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Helen, where will we meet to rehearse for our presentation? Oh, I totally forgot that the rehearsal is today. I was so busy with other things. The presentation is tomorrow. Have you memorized your part of the script? 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, parents. I'm Nancy White, principal at Meadow High School. I really appreciate your making time to attend the parent-teacher conference. Today, I would like to ask for your help. We are looking for volunteers who can work either at the school library or at the school cafeteria. Some of the duties at the library include cleaning shelves, labeling books, reshelving books, and entering new information into the database. And volunteers who wish to interact more with students can serve meals in the cafeteria or perform other tasks. Anyone willing to put in at least five hours a week is welcome to sign up at the entrance. It would be a great help to our students and the school overall. Thank you. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Bill, you've been looking so tired these days. Is everything okay? Hi, Marie. I've been staying up all night these past few days trying to finish my term paper. I see. You must be exhausted. Also, I feel like I'm gaining weight. Are you snacking late at night? Yes, and I've been eating a lot of greasy fast foods. Did you know that a lack of sleep can lead to significant weight gain? No, I didn't know that. What does sleep have to do with weight gain? Well, I read an article that said insufficient sleep increases hunger hormones. No wonder I'm always hungry. Also, sleep-deprived people tend to make poor food choices, so the first thing they reach for is usually something full of fat. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why I've been longing for high-fat foods. Your term paper is important, but you should always get enough sleep. Thanks. That's great information. I'll try to get to bed early tonight. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Are you ready, Mr. Simpson? I'm pretty nervous, but yes, I'm ready. Just relax and do your best. Thank you. Could I take a quick sip of water first? Sure. Begin when you are ready. Okay, I'm ready. I'll start now. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. You performed it so smoothly, even with your ankle bandaged up. My ankle is still sore from performing in Swan Lake in the International Dance Festival last week. Part of being a dancer is performing through the pain, and you just did that. You moved so effortlessly that I couldn't even tell your ankle was hurting. Once I start to dance, I don't even notice the pain. Based on your audition today, I can tell you are extremely talented and dedicated. Thank you for saying that. If I get the part, I will do my best to put on a great production. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Honey, look at the picture in this interior design book. I want to decorate Mike's room like this. Let me see. Wow, it's wonderful. The first thing that gets my attention is the world map on the wall. I think world maps are great because they allow us to dream of far-off places. This big bookshelf beside the window is nice. It would make organizing all of Mike's books easier. Yes, it would. I like how the desk is placed in front of the window. Me too. Let's move Mike's desk like that. It'll be a more comfortable place for him to do his homework. And look how they have storage boxes under the bed. That's a good way to create more storage. If we do that, 
We could stop worrying about him leaving his stuff all over the room. That'd be great. And look at the plant hanging from the ceiling. Some greenery in a room is always a mood booster. Right. Plants can have a positive effect on a child's emotional well being. I can't wait to start redecorating his room. 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Amy, it looks like you're looking for something. I've misplaced my cell phone and can't find it. I saw you holding it in the school cafeteria. Yes, I remember having my phone with me there too, so I must have lost it on my way back to the classroom. Did you stop anywhere in between those two places? I went to the bathroom. Then maybe you left it there. I checked, but I couldn't find it there either. Should I call your phone? It won't be of any use. I put my phone on silent mode. What should I do? I think the only thing left to do is look in the lost and found. That sounds like a good idea. But first, can I use your phone to make a call? Here you go. Thanks. I have to tell my mom that I won't be able to answer her call when she comes to pick me up after school. 대화를 듣고 남자가 워크숍에 끝까지 참석할 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hi, Sam. What's up? I'm calling about our schedule for tomorrow. We were supposed to drive to the workshop together, remember? Oh, yeah. Thanks for calling. I'm really excited about the workshop tomorrow. When and where should we meet? Why don't we meet in front of the city library at 9 a.m.? Good. By the way, are you planning to attend all the sessions? Yes, I want to. Well, I won't be able to stay until the end, so you might need to look for a ride back home. You're not going to stay for the whole workshop? No, I can't. I have a dentist's appointment. I'm sorry to inconvenience you. That's okay. Unfortunately, you'll miss some really good workshop sessions. I know, but I couldn't reschedule the appointment. The dentist will be out of the office the day after tomorrow for a week to attend a conference. I see. So you would have to wait at least a week if you postpone this appointment. That's right. And my tooth aches so much that I can't wait another week. May I help you? Yes, I'm interested in this tea cabinet. How much does it cost? It's $300. It's a wonderful tea cabinet to display teacups and saucers. Wow, that's more expensive than I expected. It's made of solid cherry wood. Do you see these beautiful details carved into it? Yes, they are pretty. But isn't this a display model? Could you drop the price a bit? I wish I could, but I can't on this one. However, if you buy this tea cabinet, I can give you a discount on other pieces of furniture. I'll take the tea cabinet. Well, I also need to buy a coffee table. Do you sell coffee tables? Of course. We have a wide selection of coffee tables. I'll show you. Follow me, please. Thanks. How much is this black one? It's $50, but I'll give you a 10% discount on it. Great. Then I'll take this one along with the tea cabinet. I'll also give you an extra $5 off, including free delivery because you are the first customer of the day. Thank you. Here's my credit card. 대화를 듣고 법률회사 인턴 과정에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Professor Smith, I heard you wanted to see me. Yes, John, come in. You told me earlier that you are looking for an internship at a law firm, didn't you? Yes, that's right. There is an internship at a law firm, and I'd like to recommend you for that position. Thank you so much. Is it a full-time position? Yes, it is. It's 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Great. How long is the internship? It's for the whole month of July, and if you'd like, you can extend the internship until the start of the semester. Sounds good. Do you know what the pay is? The pay is $13 per hour. That's great news. This sounds like a really valuable opportunity. That's why I thought of you. Through this internship, you could get a recommendation letter from the lawyers, which could really help you in the future. That'd help out so much. 
Here's the information. They're accepting applications until this Friday. I can't thank you enough. Bring your family to school에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good morning, students. Our annual event, Bring Your Family to School, is coming up soon. On this special day, you can share many aspects of your school life with your family members. It'll be held on the last Friday of this month from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Your family members can stay with you either for just a couple of hours or for the whole day. Please note that you are not allowed to bring any pets to school. Make sure to ask your parents to read and sign the form to confirm whether they will attend or not. Please hand in the form to your homeroom teacher no later than next Wednesday. Thanks for listening. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 구입할 커피 메이커를 고르시오. Hello, how can I help you? I'm looking for a coffee maker for my wife. What's your price range? I was thinking under $500. Okay. Is there a specific model or a function you have in mind? Well, my wife likes lattes, so I'd like to get one with a milk steamer. These are our models that have that. Okay. What are the differences between them? These ones have an auto on and off mode, so you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn them off. Great. I need one with that auto mode. How long are the warranties for these? The warranty period is five years for the ones over $450 and two years for the less expensive ones. I'll go with the one with the five-year warranty. Excellent choice. Your wife will be pleased. Thank you for helping me out. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Judy, let's go grab something to eat at the cafeteria. Can you hold on a second? I've got something to finish. All right. What are you doing? I'm looking at the class schedule for this fall semester. Oh, you haven't finished registering yet? I'm done with my required courses. I have to register for an elective course. Have you found anything that you think sounds interesting? Yeah, a couple of courses. One's a leadership course and the other's a philosophy course. But I'm not sure if I should register for either of them. Why not? Because all the afternoon classes are full. Are there any morning classes available? Yeah. Then sign up for a morning class. What's the problem? 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Sophie, I heard you're going back to the States next month. Yes, I am. I can't believe I've already been in Korea for a year. I regret I haven't fully enjoyed life in Korea because I've been so busy studying. You still have a month left before you leave. That's true. Can you recommend some interesting things for me to do? There are tons of activities to choose from if you check the official Korean tourist website. Have you participated in any of the programs? I've done a lot of them. My favorite ones were visiting Buddhist temples and sleeping in a hanok. They both sound interesting, but I don't really feel comfortable going alone. Do you want to join my sister and me next week? We've reserved two rooms at a hanok. We're going to stay there for two nights. Sounds great. I'd love to join if you don't mind. No problem. I'll pay my part. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 줄리아가 매니저에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Julia looks on the internet for a restaurant for her parents' wedding anniversary dinner. She makes a reservation at a restaurant where they can dine on an outdoor terrace overlooking beautiful scenery. On the day of the dinner, when Julia and her family arrive at the restaurant, they are seated at a table without a nice view. The restaurant website says that the tables on the terrace have a nice view, so they are pretty disappointed. They look around and spot an unoccupied table on the other side of the terrace that clearly has a better view. So Julia asks to talk to the manager. When the manager comes over, he asks Julia if there is something wrong. In this situation, what would Julia most likely say to him? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. 
Hello, students. Last class, we learned about national identity. National identity can be formed through national symbols. Every country in the world has numerous national symbols, such as a national anthem, flag, bird, or flower. Today, we're going to focus on national flowers. A large number of countries across the globe have national floral emblems. Some of them are chosen by the governments, while others are selected through public polls. Interestingly, some countries share the same national flower. Do you know what is the official flower in both the United States and England? The answer is the rose. Also, the tulip is the national flower of both Turkey and the Netherlands. And India and Egypt have the lotus as their national flower. The red poppy is the national flower for Belgium and Albania. Now let's take a look at some photos of floral emblems. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Last class, we learned about national identity. National identity can be formed through national symbols. Every country in the world has numerous national symbols, such as a national anthem, flag, bird, or flower. Today, we're going to focus on national flowers. A large number of countries across the globe have national floral emblems. Some of them are chosen by the governments, while others are selected through public polls. Interestingly, some countries share the same national flower. Do you know what is the official flower in both the United States and England? The answer is the rose. Also, the tulip is the national flower of both Turkey and the Netherlands. And India and Egypt have the lotus as their national flower. The red poppy is the national flower for Belgium and Albania. Now let's take a look at some photos of floral emblems. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Sophia, how long have you been learning Korean? About a year. I started learning it last summer. Really? That's all? I heard you're already really good at Korean. How do you study? 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Matt, did you see the notice about the stargazing night? Yes, it sounds fun. I'm going. How about you? Me too. But I'm afraid it'll be cold out there at night. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm standing here today on behalf of the strongest presidential candidate for our grade of 2020, Mark Jensen. The reasons I support him are simple. This year, there are two major events for us as seniors. First is the school festival, and the second is the dance party at the end of the school year. They're the biggest and most important events of our high school lives, and they require a tremendous amount of time and planning to organize. So we need a leader who can meet that challenge, and I think Mark is the most qualified candidate to be able to plan and put on these two major events. He has shown leadership in class, and he will do the same for the school if we elect him. So vote for Mark. Thank you. 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Tom. Where are you headed? Hi, Lily. I'm going to meet Jimmy and Tyler to plan for our summer trip. Where are you guys going? We haven't decided yet. Jimmy wants to travel to Rome again, while Tyler firmly insists that we go to a country that we have not been to before, like Nepal. Why does Jimmy want to go to Rome again? Because when we went there last time, we didn't have time to do everything we wanted. What's Tyler's argument? He thinks that traveling in developed countries doesn't challenge us enough. What do you think? Hmm. If I had a vote, I'd go with Tyler. Why is that? First of all, when the culture is totally different, any experiences you have of the new culture will broaden your horizon. Hmm. Interesting. 
Also, I think you'll learn a lot from a journey into a new country you've never been to. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, sir. Welcome to Korea. Thank you. I'm so excited. This is my first visit here. Great. Are you here for work? Kind of. I have a conference to attend. Got it. So, where are you going? I'm going to the Suwon Convention Center. What route do you plan on taking? Hmm. I'm thinking about taking the highway and getting off at the East Suwon exit. Actually, I'd like to avoid the highway. That's what a friend recommended me. Okay. How long do you expect it to take? If we don't take the highway, I'd guess around an hour and a half. Oh, no. That's too long. Taking the highway will probably take less than, won't it? Yeah, I think so. It'll probably take less than an hour, but you have to pay tolls. That's okay. Let's take the highway. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Belle. Hi, Niels. Daniela just sent me a picture of her school rock band. Check it out. What a nice photo. Why do they have this picture of an eagle on the wall? Because the school mascot is an eagle. Oh, I see. Hey, who's this guy with the beard on keyboard? Surely he's not a student. He's the music teacher. Daniela said he can sing well and play a bunch of instruments. Is the boy playing the guitar Daniela's younger brother Jim? Yeah, he always wears that Santa Claus hat. And look at Daniela singing in the middle. Holding the mic with both hands. She looks like a pro. <laughs> I'll tell her you said that. Do you know what all those trophies in the glass case on the right are from? Daniela told me they're from competitions the school band has won over the years. The school band started 60 years ago. Wow, it has a really long history. 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Jane. I heard you were looking for me. That's right. I wanted to ask a favor. Sure. What is it? I applied to Lloyden University. Wow, that's a prestigious school. Right. But they don't require applicants to take any essay test. Oh, and because you're such a good writer, that takes away your advantage. Yeah, so I'm a little worried. Then how do they decide who to accept? Through an interview process, and I'm really afraid of speaking in front of others. I understand. It's never easy to have an interview, let alone one for admission to a top university. So, I wanted to ask you if you could help me to prepare for the interview. Aha, uh -huh. that's why you wanted to see me. Sure, I can help you out. Just tell me when and where you want to meet up and practice. Thank you so much. I'll let you know later. 대화를 듣고 남자가 토요일에 여자와 함께 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hey, Matthew. I've found a young French biomedical engineer. Oh, that's great. Yes. I believe she can play a big role in completing our company's new major project. So I want her to join our team. How are you going to get her to join us? I will go to Daejeon to meet her this Saturday. She is working in a lab there. Did you set up a time to meet her? Yes. I sent her an email and she said she could meet me on Saturday. I see. But do you think she will be interested? I think I am going to have to persuade her to work with us. Oh, really? Yeah. But the biggest problem is she doesn't speak Korean well and I only speak a little French. Oh, that's a problem. So, could you go see her with me? You speak French, don't you? Yes, I do. But I'm afraid I can't. My older sister is getting married this Saturday. Oh, I forgot. Anyway, I need to find someone to help me out. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hi, I'd like to check out. Okay, just a second. The computer shows you used the study room for two hours. That's right. It's $5 an hour, so your total comes to $10. All right. And I also want to pay for my two friends who shared the study room with me. Actually, you don't pay per person. You pay per room. Oh, I was confused for a second. And do you offer student discounts? 
Yes, you get 10% off the price of the room if you have a student ID. That's great. Here's my student ID. Okay. And you ordered two pieces of rice cake. Yes. Each piece of rice cake is $3. The student discount doesn't apply to foods and beverages. Okay. I'll pay in cash. 대화를 듣고 서바이벌 캠프 2020에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Ben, have you read the notice about Survival Camp 2020 at Mount Smoky? No, what's that? You probably don't know because you transferred here this year. Our school has a survival camp every summer. It started in 2010. That sounds kind of cool. How long is it? Five days, from the first Monday of July. Where does it take place? In the Mount Smoky campground in Belleville. I know where that is. It's not too far. What do students do at the camp? Since it's a survival camp, they learn basic survival skills. Really? That sounds like fun. There are also survival games where you need to use the skills you learn to win. Is the camp for all students? No, it's just for sophomores. Ah, how much does it cost? It's $50. Do you want to apply? Sure, it sounds fun. 예술 철학 고급 과정에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, students. I'm Professor Julia Kim. This is an advanced course in the philosophy of art, so you must have completed the introductory course to take this class. If you haven't completed the introductory course, you need to drop this class and take that course first. In this class, we will explore the philosophy and nature of art in depth. This is different from art criticism class. Art criticism focuses on analyzing and evaluating particular artworks. Instead, this class is mainly concerned with the basic philosophical concepts of art. So, from the very beginning, we explore some deep questions on art and artists. What is art? What is beauty? Can art ever be objective? I'm sure that you will find this class challenging and interesting. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 등록할 발레 수업을 고르시오. Welcome to Seattle Ballet Academy. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to sign up for a ballet class. Great. Have you ever done ballet before? Yes, I took some ballet classes about 10 years ago. That's a long time ago, so I don't recommend the advanced class. Any of the others should be okay. All right. And these are the times of the classes. I can't take any class that ends after 3.30 p.m. I need to pick up my daughter at 4 p.m. Okay. And how many days a week would you like? Hmm. I'd prefer three times a week, but it's too expensive for me. I see. Then how about between these two? Um, I'll sign up for this one. I think it's better to learn the basics of ballet again, and it's cheaper. Okay, good choice. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hat World, what can I do for you? Hi, my name is Henry Lee, and I ordered a hat from you online a week ago. All right. I should have received it by yesterday, but I haven't received it yet. I'm sorry about that. Can you tell me your name again, sir? Henry Lee. And I need it by this Saturday because it's a birthday gift for my wife. Let me check the delivery status for you. Could you tell me your order number? Sure. It's 114-427-2137. Please hold on while I check your order. Mr. Lee? Yes, I'm here. I found your order. I have Henry Lee, 1159 Crav Lake Drive, Olive, Illinois, 66512. Oh, no. Is there anything wrong with that? 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. May I help you, sir? Yes, I'm not sure which platform my train leaves from. Where are you going to? To Yasu. If you go straight and turn to your right, you'll see a big board with information about all arrivals and departures. 
I know, but the information board isn't working now. Oh, I forgot. Let me check your train information. Thank you, but I'm cutting it really close. My train leaves in five minutes. It's platform number one. Thank you. Could you tell me how to get there? Sure. Go straight that way and go down the second escalator on your right. It's the platform on your left. Oh my. I hope I make it in time. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 진이 미스터 화이트에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jean had a biology exam yesterday. She likes biology and had studied for the test for a week. She was certain she got a perfect score until Mr. White, her biology teacher, gave her answer sheet back to her today. To her disappointment, she missed two questions. One was obviously her mistake. She marked a wrong number on the answer sheet, even though she marked the correct answer on her exam paper. But she wonders why her answer to question number nine is wrong. She tries to find out why her answer is wrong, but she can't. So she wants to ask Mr. White to explain why her answer is wrong. In this situation, what would Jean most likely say to Mr. White? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Last time we talked about Mahatma Gandhi. one of the world's most influential people of the 20th century. Today, we will look into great leaders who were inspired by him. The Dalai Lama, the religious and political leader of the Tibetan people, has always said he has the greatest admiration for Gandhi. He has confessed that Gandhi has inspired him greatly. Another person who was inspired by Gandhi was Nelson Mandela from South Africa. He often confessed Gandhi's ideas played a critical role in his movement to abolish racism in South Africa. Also, I'd like to mention John Lennon, an anti-war activist, as well as a member of the legendary band The Beatles. He said that Gandhi had a significant influence on his music. His famous song, Give Peace a Chance, became an anti-war song. Finally, I have to add the most beloved civil rights leader in the U.S., Martin Luther King Jr. He once said that Mahatma Gandhi showed him how to employ a non-violent civil rights movement to oppose racism aimed at African Americans. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Last time we talked about Mahatma Gandhi, one of the world's most influential people of the 20th century. Today, we will look into great leaders who were inspired by him. The Dalai Lama, the religious and political leader of the Tibetan people, has always said he has the greatest admiration for Gandhi. He has confessed that Gandhi has inspired him greatly. Another person who was inspired by Gandhi was Nelson Mandela from South Africa. He often confessed Gandhi's ideas played a critical role in his movement to abolish racism in South Africa. Also, I'd like to mention John Lennon, an anti-war activist, as well as a member of the legendary band The Beatles. He said that Gandhi had a significant influence on his music. His famous song, Give Peace a Chance, became an anti-war song. Finally, I have to add the most beloved civil rights leader in the U.S., Martin Luther King Jr. He once said that Mahatma Gandhi showed him how to employ a non-violent civil rights movement to oppose racism. aimed at African Americans. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, but I think you forgot to include the eye ointment. Let me check. Well, the eye ointment is not included in your prescription. Oh, my doctor must have forgotten to add it to the prescription. Can I buy it over the counter? 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, this milk smells sour. It must have gone bad. But I just bought it yesterday. Let me try it. You'd better not. Look, it's past the expiration date. Let's just dump it out. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, students. This is your vice principal speaking. I would like to talk about the new elevator. 
One of the main reasons the elevator was installed is to help students who are physically unable to use the stairs. In order to use the elevator, students need a note from the nursing teacher directly stating that they're unable to use the stairs. However, a lot of students who are not supposed to use the elevator are still using it. Some students are riding the elevator with their injured friend who doesn't need help, but this is not a valid reason. I'm not just concerned about the elevator being misused. I am concerned about the impact on the environment and on your health. We need to save energy, and students need exercise. Please use the stairs and leave the elevator to those in need. Thanks for your cooperation. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Dr. Young. Congratulations on your new book release. Thank you, Deborah. And it's a great honor to be invited on your show. Our pleasure. First off, what made you decide to write a book about smartphone addiction? Well, I thought it's a growing problem in society, especially among young people. I agree. How would we know if someone has smartphone addiction? First of all, they probably spend more time using their phone than hanging out with their family or friends. So, you are saying that if a person chooses their phone over people, then they may have smartphone addiction. That's right. Neglecting oneself is another sign. For my book, I interviewed someone who uses his phone for about 15 hours a day, and he often skips eating and washing. 15 hours? Every day? Yeah, and he even feels anxious when he's not using his phone. That must really affect his ability to develop personal relationships. You're right. So, if you see anybody showing these signs, it may be time to seek help for them. I see. Timely intervention seems to be really important. Sorry to say, but we've got to take a break now. We'll be right back. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 대화하는 장소로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Wow, it's so crowded here. What row are our seats in? Let's see. Row 18, right here. The first two seats. Oh, Jake, our seats are so far from the field. I wished we could have gotten better seats. Sitting behind home plate last time was so cool. But then we'd have to watch the game through the net again. The net didn't bother me. I didn't like it, though. And besides, those tickets are so much more expensive. But they're worth it. I want to see the players up close. Who knows? We may catch a home run ball here. All right. But just this time, okay? Okay, I promise. I hope we are lucky and get a home run ball for a souvenir. Look, the players are starting batting practice. I'm glad we got here early enough to see this. I hope our home team wins today. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Mr. White. I'm Nancy Blake, Ellen's mom. Nice to meet you, Ms. Blake. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Last week, I asked my students to draw a picture, and this is Ellen's. Oh, it's nice. She put the sun in the corner. It's a common thing among kids. What is interesting is that Ellen drew a house with a chimney. You're right. Smoke is coming out of it. Does it mean anything special? A smoking chimney means an expression of warmth and affection within the family. That's a good sign. And the wide open door leading to the pathway shows her open mind to the outside world. That makes sense. The girl who is jumping rope must be Ellen. Yes, I think so. And take a look at this tree. She drew branches and leaves on the tree. It means she has a well-rounded nature. It's very interesting that we can read her mind just with a picture. I hope it helps you understand a part of her psychological state. 대화를 듣고 여자가 남자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, sorry I'm late. The traffic was awful. That's okay. You're just in time. Oh, you bought some balloons and candles. Yeah, I want to put these balloons on the gate to welcome our guests. That's a good idea. 
And I'll place these candles on the table. That'll create a good mood. Thank you, honey. Is there anything I can help you with? No, I think everything is ready now. That's good. Hmm, something smells good. The roasted chicken? It'll go well with the wine I bought yesterday. Oh, did you buy some wine too? Yeah, but I left it in my car. I'll go and get it. By the way, I saw your car in the driveway. Oh, I forgot to move it into the garage. Can you do that for me? I've got to check on the chicken in the oven. No problem. 대화를 듣고 남자가 텀블러를 구매하려고 하는 이유를 고르시오. Lisa, I'll buy you a coffee today. You bought mine last time. Okay, thanks. Here's my tumbler. Just have them put my coffee in it. All right. Oh, you got a new tumbler. I like it. I lost my old one. Well, you had it for a long time. Yeah, and the lid didn't close tightly, so it was time to buy a new one anyway. Why don't you get one? I don't feel like carrying one around with me. But you can save money. When you use your own tumbler, you get one dollar off your coffee. Wow, then I can save more than one hundred dollars a year. I think I should get one as well. I got mine online. I can show you the site. That's cool. While you're getting our coffee, I'll open the web page for you. Sounds good. I'll be right back. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Hi, I'd like to exchange this shirt. Here's the receipt. Okay. Is there anything wrong with it? No, I just want a different color. So I'd like to exchange it with this gray one. All right. Well, they're different styles, and the gray one is slightly more expensive. What's the price difference? The gray one is $35. The one you want to exchange is $30. You just have to pay the difference. Okay, that's all right. And how about these sneakers? I think they match well with the gray shirt. I like them. Do you have the right size for me? Sure. What size are you? I'm a size six. How much are they? You're lucky today. Originally, they were $40, but they're 50% off now. That's great. I'll buy the shoes as well. Okay. Here's your total. All right. Here's my credit card. 대화를 듣고 학생 건강보험에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hello, Student Health Insurance Office. How may I help you? Hello, I'm a new international student, and I was wondering when the deadline is for applying for student health insurance. It's by the end of the first week of the semester, which is this Friday. Okay, and how much does it cost? It's $325 per semester. That's good. And what does the insurance cover? It covers 80% of medical fees for visits to off-campus hospitals and 100% of medical fees for visits to the clinic on campus. It even includes a health checkup. Okay. Then can I just stop by your office to apply for it? Yes. And bring your passport and student ID card. All right. Thank you for your help. 일기예보에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good afternoon. I'm Michael Kane from Channel 5 with a weather report. We had some pleasant weather this morning, but we're currently experiencing high levels of fine dust again. A northerly wind had kept the dust levels low, but a change in wind direction brought in a large amount of fine dust. Into the night, a lot more places will be affected by the dust. Dust levels will stay high tomorrow, but it'll be sunny across the country. The temperature in the morning will be around 12 degrees, climbing to 24 degrees tomorrow afternoon. For the time being, we'll be under clear skies. During the weekend, the daytime temperatures will be around 29 degrees, so you may feel somewhat hot. I'll be back with another update later this evening. Thank you. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 이용할 우편 서비스를 고르시오. Hi, I'd like to send this package to Boston. Okay. Could you place it on the scale? Sure. Oh, here's a list of mailing options. Yeah. It weighs about five pounds, so this option isn't available. It's for packages of 3.5 pounds or less. Oh, I see. Then which option would be good for me? 
Does your package need to arrive by a certain day? Yes, it should be delivered within four days. Okay, then. I suggest you choose one of these. And if you choose this one, it'll arrive at least a day earlier than the others. But I think spending over $25 just for shipping is pretty expensive. Between these two options left, I'll go with the cheaper one. Okay. Oh, may I ask what's inside your package? They are brochures and concert tickets. Then it may be better to choose the other one. It's more expensive, but it includes insurance. You're right. I'll choose that one then. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Mr. Robin. Hi, Susie. Can you check my reading log online? Sure. Just a minute. You've read 12 books in total this semester. I see. So if I read one more book by tonight, am I eligible for the Excellent Reader Award? Sorry, but no, Susie. You still have to read two more books. The award is given to those who read 14 books or more in a semester. But last semester I just read 13 and got the award. Yeah, you're right. But because you've advanced to the intermediate level this semester, you have to read 14 books, not 13. Oh, I didn't know that. The deadline is tomorrow. That means you need to read a lot tonight. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Joe, it's a perfect day to visit the Korean folk village, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so glad we came here today. Me too. Do you know where the ticket booth is? It's over there. Wow, look at the long line. Oh, it looks like there's a special event today. Really? Yeah, see the sign. There's a special festival related to the Joseon dynasty today. That sounds really cool. Yeah, let's get in line and get our tickets. All right. Hey, do you see those people inside the village wearing hanboks? Yeah, I wonder if we can rent hanboks here. Let's ask the person at the ticket booth. What if they say yes? 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미즈 에반스가 알렉스에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. Evans is a high school writing teacher. Last week, she gave her students a writing assignment about environmental issues. Now she's reading a paper written by Alex, one of her students. The paper is quite short, but it is well organized and very informative. She thinks Alex did a good job of explaining various environmental problems and their possible long-term solutions. Therefore, she gives Alex an A for his paper. However, Alex's paper has some problems. There are some spelling mistakes in some places where he forgot to put commas and periods. So she wants to inform him that it is important to reread his writing to check for spelling and punctuation mistakes before submitting it. In this situation, what would Ms. Evans most likely say to Alex? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hi, I'm Stuart Kim, a nutritionist. Do you want to lose weight and feel healthier? Then cutting sugar out of your diet can help. Sugar is highly addictive, and it's hard to give up at first. But over time, you won't miss it. I'll show you how. First of all, skip the sugar in your daily coffee. Instead, use coconut milk. Not only is coconut milk lower in calories, but it's also slightly sweet. Even eating fruit with your coffee can reduce the bitterness of the coffee and satisfy your sweet tooth. Secondly, when you're thirsty, drink water instead of soda or juice. Many of us aren't even aware of the amount of sugar we consume through beverages. So, drinking water is a great way to reduce sugar intake. It sounds tough to achieve a life without sugar, but you will sleep better, look better, and even feel better. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hi, I'm Stuart Kim, a nutritionist. Do you want to lose weight and feel healthier? Then cutting sugar out of your diet can help. Sugar is highly addictive, and it's hard to give up at first. But over time, you won't miss it. I'll show you how. First of all, skip the sugar in your daily coffee. Instead, use coconut milk. 
Not only is coconut milk lower in calories, but it's also slightly sweet. Even eating fruit with your coffee can reduce the bitterness of the coffee and satisfy your sweet tooth. Secondly, when you're thirsty, drink water instead of soda or juice. Many of us aren't even aware of the amount of sugar we consume through beverages, so drinking water is a great way to reduce sugar intake. It sounds tough to achieve a life without sugar, but you will sleep better, look better, and even feel better. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Michael, I heard you're recently moved. How's your new neighborhood? So far, so good. I really like it. That's great. What do you like so much about it? 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, can I help you find anything? Yeah, I'm looking for the October issue of the magazine Trendy. I don't see it here on the shelf. I'm sorry, but it'll be in next Monday. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, residents. I'm Maria Smith, building manager. As you know, we will begin painting the outside of the building tomorrow. Please take the following precautions to protect your vehicles. If your vehicle is in parking lot A, the one in front of the building, please move it to one of the other parking lots. Some of the paint may get on the cars, so be sure to move your car out of parking lot A. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the management office. Thank you for your cooperation. 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. I'm going home. See you tomorrow, John. Okay, Linda. Looks like you've been really stressed out about our project recently. Yeah, I've been so worried about meeting our deadline. If you arrive home stressed, your family can feel it. I know. That worries me. I feel that I'm less patient with my family due to work pressures. That happens to me sometimes, too. So I try to relieve my work stress before I get home. I think you should do so too. What do you do? Well, I just try to take my mind off of work. Sometimes I take a walk around the park near my house or drop by a bookstore to browse some books before I go home. Sounds like a good idea. Try that. If you get rid of your stress from work before you get home, you'll be much calmer around your family. Okay, I'll try that today. Thanks for the advice. No problem. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Good afternoon, Ms. Norman. Good afternoon, Mr. Brown. Thank you for taking the time to meet me today. My pleasure. I've always admired your passion for food. You've been in this field for 40 years, right? That's right. For the last 40 years, I've been cooking, tasting, and trying out new recipes. And you won the national cooking competition last year. That must have been a real pleasure. Sure, but what brings me real joy is the experience of being fully engaged in what I'm doing. Well, that's one reason I'd like to direct a documentary about you. I want to share your passion and experiences that go into being a chef. Sounds fascinating. How do you plan on filming it? The cameras would follow you around during your daily life, like when you're cooking or buying ingredients. So I'd need to get used to cameras always around me. <laughs> yes, I brought an outline of the documentary. If you'd like, I can show it to you now. Sure. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Did you have a good weekend, Kyle? Yes, Ms. Jones. My family went on a picnic on Saturday. Here's a picture of me and my dad. It looks like the weather was perfect. It was. And this was the perfect spot because these tree branches at the top of the picture kept us cool under the shade. Nice. I love your polka dot mat. We bought it on the way to the park. It came with this heart-shaped cushion leaning against the picnic basket. That's nice. I see your dad playing the guitar. Yeah, he played a few of my favorite songs. That's cool. And you're holding a butterfly net in your hand. Yeah, 
I caught a few insects to observe and released them later. Looks like you had a wonderful picnic. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, honey. What's up? I finally finished the project I've been working on for months. Congratulations, honey. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I left the office a little bit later than usual, but I'll be home by six. I see. Well, I just stopped by the grocery store and I'm heading home now. All right. Is there anything you want me to do on my way home? Sure. It's my turn to pick up Emma from the daycare center, so... Oh, I can pick her up. That's okay. I'll do that. I've already called the daycare center and told them I'd be 30 minutes late. Okay. Then what do you need me to do? I need to go to the dry cleaners to pick up some clothes. Can you do that for me? Sure. It's Greenwood Dry Cleaners, right? Yes. Thanks, honey. See you soon. 대화를 듣고 여자가 회사를 그만두게 된 이유를 고르시오. Lisa, I heard you're moving back home to your country. Yeah, Tom. I feel sad to leave everyone here at work. I've loved working here. Everybody feels the same about you. I remember you saying that you really missed your family. Is that why you're going back? I miss them, but that's not why I'm going back. Oh, okay. I hope it's not because someone home is sick. Thankfully, that's not the reason either. I just feel it's time to take my career to the next level. Oh, did you get a job offer from a bigger accounting firm? No, I'm going to focus on my studies. Is that necessary? You already have the highest level accounting license. I know, but I've always had an urge to study accounting more academically. What do you plan on doing? I got admission to a good graduate school in my home country. I'm going to study there. Congratulations. That'll be a great opportunity for you. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Good afternoon. Is there anything I can help you find? Yes. Where are your shampoo and body wash? They're over here. This shampoo is $10 for one bottle. And just so you know, we have a special promotion today. If you buy one, you'll get another one for 50% off. Great. I'll take two of them. Okay. Then the second one is $5. And right behind you is the body wash. Is it on sale too? No, it's not. It's $8 a bottle. That's okay. I'll get two bottles. If you're going to buy two bottles of body wash, you may want to just get a family-sized bottle. It's the same amount as two bottles, and it's a dollar cheaper than buying two bottles. I see. Then I'll take a family-sized bottle. All right. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Then I'll check you out at the counter. 대화를 듣고 운동회에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Mom, when do you plan on doing laundry? Tomorrow. Why? Because my red t-shirt is dirty and I need it for the field day at school. Each class is wearing a different color and my class is wearing red. Okay. When is the field day? The day after tomorrow at 10 a.m. All right. It'll be cleaned by then. The events are going to be outside on the playground, right? Yes, and in the gym too. Will there be some races? Sure. There will also be basketball, volleyball, and table tennis. Sounds like fun. What sports are you participating in? Basketball and volleyball. Let me know how your team does. I will, Mom. Thanks. 2020 Early Childhood Fair에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Green City residents. I'm Darcy Young. Activity Director at the Green City Community Center. Do you have a child under the age of five? If so, you don't want to miss the 2020 Early Childhood Fair. There, you'll be able to get information about early childhood education, child health and development, and community programs for children. You'll even be able to sign up for the programs for preschoolers. The first 50 children to arrive will receive a free gift, and there will be fun activities for children. And come hungry, there will be free snacks. The 2020 Early Childhood Fair will be held on October 24th from 11 a.m. 
to 1 p.m. at Larson Preschool. And the best part is, the fair is free to attend. See you there. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 부서 모임에서 보러 갈 공연을 고르시오. Mr. Williams, have you decided what we're going to do for our department get-together next month? Yeah, we're going to see a performance at Central Theater, but I still haven't decided which one. Here's a list of their performances next month. Let me take a look. They all seem interesting, but this one seems a bit long. It's over 100 minutes. I don't think we should see it. I agree. What type of performance do you think would be best? Well, a play or a musical would be fine, but I don't think we should see a ballet, so let's cross that out. Okay, then that leaves these three. This one is quite a bit more expensive than the other two. Given the budget, I don't think we can see it. You're right. It's too expensive. Then it comes down to these two. Hmm, they both look good. What do you think? This one has a better review. Let's go with it. Okay. I'm sure it'll be really good. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Sam, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. It's okay, Daisy. I got our tickets while I was here. Let's go in the gallery. Thanks. So this is the exhibition you talked about in our debate club meeting. Yeah, I heard it's one of the best collections of traditional Korean paintings. Awesome. The paintings will give you a good understanding of Korean culture and history. Cool. Oh, look at this poster. The gallery is hosting lectures on different aspects of Korean culture and history every Thursday evening. Wow. Korean history is what I'm really interested in. I'd love to attend some of the lectures. Me too. But I don't think we can attend any of them until the end of the semester. Why is that? Because we have debate club meetings every Thursday evening during the semester. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey Jessica, is everything all right? You're looking kind of down. I am. I failed my Chinese test. I need to retake it next month. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's just so frustrating. I studied a lot. I got all of the vocabulary questions right, but I did really bad on the pronunciation part. So you pretty much just need to focus on your pronunciation. Yeah, but it's difficult to do by myself. I had the same problem when I started studying Chinese, but using multimedia really helped me out. Really? What did you do? I watched a lot of Chinese movies and imitated the pronunciation of the actors. That's a great idea. I need to find out where I can get some Chinese movies. I know some good websites where you can watch Chinese movies. I'll send you the links to them. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 한나가 스티브에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hannah and Steve have a nine-year-old son, Joel. They decide to buy Joel a smartphone so they can keep track of his whereabouts and quickly get in touch with him when they need to. Unfortunately, a week after buying Joel his smartphone, Hannah notices that he cannot keep his hands off his smartphone. He constantly watches videos, plays games, and texts with his friends. She thinks Joel is using his smartphone too much because she and Steve haven't made any clear guidelines about when and how long Joel can use his smartphone. So Hannah wants to suggest to Steve that they establish a set of smartphone use rules for Joel. In this situation, what would Hannah most likely say to Steve? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Last class, we focused on fairy tale animals. Today, we're going to focus on some common lessons that they teach, especially moral lessons. For example, in the tale, The Crow and the Jug, the thirsty crow finds a jug with water and patiently fills it with pebbles to raise the water level to drink. By doing so, the crow teaches us that we should never give up. Also, the duckling in The Ugly Duckling teaches us that everyone is beautiful just the way they are. In this tale, the duckling was picked on by others.
but finally grows into a beautiful swan. Also, in the tale, two goats. The goats argue and fight about who should cross the narrow bridge first. In the end, they both fall into the water. These goats teach us not to be stubborn. Finally, in The Lazy Donkey, the donkey emphasizes that we must always do our work honestly. The donkey keeps falling into the pond to reduce the weight of the salt on its back. But it falls for its own trick when the master loads it with cotton. Now, let's watch a video about these stories. Hello, students. Last class, we focused on fairy tale animals. Today, we're going to focus on some common lessons that they teach, especially moral lessons. For example, in the tale, The Crow and the Jug, the thirsty crow finds a jug with water and patiently fills it with pebbles to raise the water level to drink. By doing so, the crow teaches us that we should never give up. Also, the duckling in The Ugly Duckling teaches us that everyone is beautiful just the way they are. In this tale, the duckling was picked on by others, but finally grows into a beautiful swan. Also, in the tale, two goats. The goats argue and fight about who should cross the narrow bridge first. In the end, they both fall into the water. These goats teach us not to be stubborn. Finally, in The Lazy Donkey, the donkey emphasizes that we must always do our work honestly. The donkey keeps falling into the pond to reduce the weight of the salt on its back. But it falls for its own trick when the master loads it with cotton. Now, let's watch a video about these stories. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jason, I got a used skateboard from my friend. Can you teach me how to ride it? Sure. I didn't know that you were interested in skateboarding. Are you free this Saturday afternoon? Yeah, thanks. I'm so excited, but I'm also scared of getting hurt. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kelly, it's good to see you back in school. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling much better, but I'm worried about the whole week of classes I missed. I guess you have a lot to catch up on. Just tell me if you need any help. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Happy Campus Life listeners. I'm John Peterson. Final exams are just around the corner. Sometimes students do poorly on exams because of test anxiety. If you're one of them, here's how to overcome your anxiety. In order to calm your nerves, try to take a deep breath just before starting the exam. Breathe in and out slowly, counting to five. It's a helpful technique to relax. Also, try to come up with positive self-motivating messages, which can help keep you calm. You could say something like, I'm familiar with this material, or I've prepared very well. Lastly, do not stay up late drinking too many caffeinated drinks the day before tests. Otherwise, you are more likely to be tired and nervous on the day of the test. I wish you good luck on your exams. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Chris, you look so busy today. What's up? Hi, Jennifer. I'm writing up a sales report. The deadline is tomorrow. So that's why you haven't left your desk all day. Yeah, I'm so tired. You should read this article about sitting too much. It says no matter how busy you are, don't forget to stand up and move around every now and then. Why is that? It says sitting for long periods can increase the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Also, it can cause back pain. Actually, I feel pain in my neck and shoulders as well as in my back these days. That's because it's difficult to maintain good posture when you are sitting for too long. Too much sitting also limits the calories you burn, so it's easy to gain weight. Then sitting too long can be seriously bad for our health. Exactly. Let's take a short break, Chris. Okay. 대화를 듣고 
두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. 헬로. I played your latest song, Hope, to my students at the beginning of our class, and they really loved it. Thank you. In your talk, could you explain to the students how you usually go about writing a song? I have some students who want to be songwriters like you. No problem. I'm going to tell them how to find the inspiration to write a song in my talk. I hope it will motivate your students to follow in my footsteps. They're really looking forward to meeting you. I'll see you then, Ms. Elliot. Okay. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hey, Linda. Have you finished drawing the poster for cybersecurity awareness? Yeah, here it is. I put the question, Are you safe? in the box at the top to draw attention to it. Cool. It's very eye-catching. What do these three images under the question mean? Does the man wearing glasses on the left represent a hacker? Yeah, I wanted to put emphasis on protecting personal information from hackers. Good point. And what about the image of the laptop in the center? As you know, we should protect our laptops with strong passwords, so I put an image of a lock on the laptop. Yeah, I always lock my computer with a password. What do you think of the image on the right next to the laptop? I love it. The image of a smartphone caught on a hook delivers a strong message for cybersecurity. And at the bottom, I put the phrase, always be careful, in the star. What do you think? I like it because it's a phrase which emphasizes the importance of cybersecurity even more. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. 대화를 듣고, 남자가 여자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mia We finished our team presentation successfully. Yeah, Professor Johnson said our presentation slides were very well organized. It was all possible thanks to your brilliant idea. I'm just glad that my idea worked. Actually, I was so impressed by your powerful presentation skills. Thanks. Now that you don't have to work on our presentation, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to the local nursing home. Oh, do you volunteer there? No. A friend of mine is holding a small piano concert there, so I'm going to go there to see her performance. Sounds great. Why don't you get her some flowers for the concert? Good idea, but I need to drop by the library to return these books before going to the flower shop. I also have some books to return to the library. Really? Can you return the books that I borrowed? Sure. I'll take care of them. See you tomorrow. 대화를 듣고 남자가 내일 실내 암벽 등반 수업에 참여할 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. I can't believe it's finally Friday. Do you have any special plans for this weekend, Amy? I'm going to take an indoor rock climbing class at the gym tomorrow. Cool. I've also wanted to try that. I heard it's good for building your upper and lower body. Do you want to go with me tomorrow? I'd love to, but I can't go tomorrow. Is it because of your part-time job at the grocery store? No, my father's coming back from Chile. He went there on a business trip three months ago. So you're going to the airport to pick him up? No, I'm going to prepare a special surprise party for him at home. Wow, your father will be very happy. Have a great time with your family. Thanks. Let's take the rock climbing class together next week. All right. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Tiger Sporting Goods. How may I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a set of dumbbells. We have dumbbell sets ranging from 1 kilogram to 10 kilograms. I think 2 kilogram dumbbells would be good for me. How much are they? They are $10 for a set. Good. I'll take one set. Do you also have yoga mats? Sure. What kind of yoga mat are you looking for? I'm looking for one with straps because I'm going to bring it to my outdoor yoga class. Then this one will be perfect for you. 
It's twenty dollars. I'll take two because I'm planning to take the class with my daughter. All right. You're getting one set of dumbbells and two yoga mats, right? Yeah. Can I use this discount coupon now? Sure. With that coupon, you will get ten percent off the total price. Great. Here's my credit card. 대화를 듣고 자원봉사 오리엔테이션에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Patrick, what are you looking at on your smartphone? I'm looking at a volunteer program at the animal shelter. They're having an orientation. Do you want to join me? Sure. I love animals. When's the orientation? It's next Saturday, the 15th, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Perfect. I'm free on that day. Where is it? At East Valley Animal Shelter. I know where that is. It's only 20 minutes away from my house. How can I sign up for the orientation? You can download a sign-up form from their website and send it by email. Then I'll do that this evening. Okay. Oh, there's one more thing. The website says that we should wear long pants and closed-toe shoes. I see. I'll keep that in mind. 얼반 비키핑 코스에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Are you interested in learning about bees or becoming a beekeeper? Then why don't you join our urban beekeeping course? Beekeeping can be done on a smaller scale at home in an urban environment as well as in rural areas. This course is designed for beginners. Our two-day beginner beekeeping course will be held from 8.30 a.m. to 5.00 p.m. on February 22nd and 23rd. The course fee is $75 per person, and a beekeeping book is included in the fee. A hands-on hive visit is also included, but it is not conducted during class time. It's scheduled later in mid-March when the weather is warm enough. Advanced registration is required for this course, and registration confirmation is issued by email when payment is received. For more information, please visit our website. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 선택할 수영 수업을 고르시오. Honey, what are you looking at on the internet? I'm thinking of taking a swimming class with Jessica starting next month. Can you help me choose one? Sure. Let me have a look. I think Waterfront Park is too far from here. It'll take more than an hour by car. You're right. I won't take that one. And you can't take this class either because Jessica is four years old. Right. Then this class is out too. Now, let's consider the class time. What time do you prefer, honey? Jessica usually takes a nap between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., so I prefer a morning class. Then you have only two options. Which one do you want to take? I'll take this one because Jessica and I are absolute beginners. Good. Then why don't you register for this one right now? Okay, I will. I hope Jessica enjoys the class. I hope so too. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Jennifer. How was your holiday? It was fantastic. My husband and I had a great time fishing and hiking. The weather was also perfect. How about you? Well, there were good things and bad things about my holiday. What happened? You said all your family was supposed to go to the beach, right? Yeah. After we arrived at the hotel, it suddenly started raining a lot. Oh, no. You had planned on doing water sports. We couldn't go kayaking or surfing because of the strong winds and heavy rain. Sorry to hear that. You must have been upset. Yeah, but there were also some positives. Really? What were the good things? Actually, I brought some board games with me, just in case. The whole family played board games together. Wow, you must have had a lot of fun. Yeah, we really had a great time. We laughed and talked the whole time. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Nathan. Did you have a nice weekend? Hi, Stacy. I went to the Museum of Failure downtown. The Museum of Failure? What's that? It's a museum for failed products from the world's best-known companies. Interesting. Why do they show off the story of failure? I think the museum wants to deliver the message that we need to admit our failures to truly succeed. 
I see. But we usually don't want to be reminded of our failures. We all have a fear of failure, but I don't think we have to. Do you know how I developed the recipe for my restaurant's new dish? No. How did you develop it? Actually, I went over all of my failed recipes and figured out what was wrong. Then I succeeded in developing a new one. Wow. You mean your failure was the mother of your success? 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 멜라니가 올리버에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oliver has a 14-year-old son, Steve. They used to be really close before Steve entered middle school. Now that Steve is a middle school student, all he seems to do is listen to music with his headphones on, and he rarely talks to Oliver. Oliver is unhappy about this. Oliver remembers that his older sister, Melanie, also had a similar experience with her teenage daughter. Oliver asks Melanie for advice about how to deal with his teenage son. Melanie wants to suggest that Oliver try taking an interest in things that Steve likes. In this situation, what would Melanie most likely say to Oliver? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, everyone. Last class, we learned about the causes of climate change. Today, we're going to talk about how climate change will have a negative impact on our food production. Endangered lists are no longer just for animals. The following foods are so-called endangered foods. One of them is coffee. Coffee plantations in South America, Africa, and Hawaii are being threatened by rising air temperatures and unstable rainfall patterns. Second, peanuts require consistently warm temperatures and 20 to 40 inches of rain over five months. Because of long-term droughts, these plants are finding it very difficult to stay alive. Third, wheat is becoming endangered too. In the coming decades, at least one quarter of the world's wheat production will be lost. Lastly, climate change is affecting the world's aquaculture as well. As the water temperature rises, salmon populations will decline because they depend on cold water for reproduction. Now let's have a look at some graphs of recent global changes in temperature. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, everyone. Last class, we learned about the causes of climate change. Today, we're going to talk about how climate change will have a negative impact on our food production. Endangered lists are no longer just for animals. The following foods are so-called endangered foods. One of them is coffee. Coffee plantations in South America, Africa, and Hawaii are being threatened by rising air temperatures and unstable rainfall patterns. Second, peanuts require consistently warm temperatures and 20 to 40 inches of rain over five months. Because of long-term droughts, these plants are finding it very difficult to stay alive. Third, wheat is becoming endangered too. In the coming decades, at least one quarter of the world's wheat production will be lost. Lastly, climate change is affecting the world's aquaculture as well. As the water temperature rises, salmon populations will decline because they depend on cold water for reproduction. Now let's have a look at some graphs of recent global changes in temperature.